Hi guys, I am in my car right now. I just got back from the bookstore. You're behind my steering wheel, so I hope that's not too weird, but I went to go pick up this book. I'm expecting this book to make me sob. I'm expecting to cry. I just realized how stupid I look right now. So I'm going to document my journey reading this book and you guys will probably see me go through all the emotions that this book invokes. And yeah, let's go see Wilfred first. He came down the stairs to greet me. Oh, well, he's gone now. Where is he? Wilfred, he comes to greet me every time. It's so cute. Oh, he always rolls. Every day when I come home from work, he does this. Right? Is that right, Wilfred? <laughs> he's the sweetest cat. Hi, guys. This is Wilfred. And I took today off of work. Oh, Wilfred really does not want to be here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so I have a day off today and I have a mission. I am going to read and finish this book. I just came back from the bookstore. They had one copy of the Traveling Cat Chronicles left. From all the videos and TikToks that I've watched, people are saying that this book is great for cat lovers and it's gonna make you wanna hug your cat and it's just a really heartwarming and touching story. I just finished the book before the coffee gets cold and that book made me cry. That's probably the first book that's ever made me cry. There's a couple of stories in that book. The one about the husband and wife was the one that made me really tear up. Now I'm kind of in the mood to read tear jerking books. This is the hardcover. I typically don't like hardcover. I will do anything to buy paperback. The reason I bought the hardcover this time is because they don't have paperback near me and I really don't want to wait anymore. Like I don't want to wait two to three weeks to buy it off of the book depository just to get it in paperback. I honestly kind of like the hardcover design a little bit more than the soft cover. I just like reading paperback more because it feels nicer and more natural. But when it's hardcover, you kind of have to read it like this. It's kind of restricting, but that's just my opinion. I know hardcover looks a lot better on the shelf, but just for reading and carrying uh, around with me, I think soft cover is better. But yeah, I'm gonna read this book and I'm gonna document my process. And as fellow cat lovers, I know you guys are definitely cat lovers because you watch my channel for Wilford. I think you guys might enjoy it too. So I figured I would just document my reading process and let you guys know what I think. But I'll also be showing you guys cute clips of Wilford in this video, so don't worry, you'll be seeing lots of those. Wilford sleeping right in between the crack of my sofa. He actually loves sleeping right here, but also when I sit, I like to sit right there too, so I understand. I understand Wilford. I'm snuggled up right beside Wilford. When I read hardcover books, I always take off the sleeve because I don't want to ruin it. I keep this in a very safe spot safe as in right beside me right there while I read with just the cover. I don't know, is anybody else like that? I'm sure a lot of you guys are like that. I just finished the first part which is called the husband without a wife. It kind of talks about the main character Soltaru's past with his cat and his friendship with one of his best friends. It gave a lot of background to the main character and it just made me better understand him and also I just love the cat's thoughts and his, his narrative. It's just so sassy, so funny, exactly like Wilfred. A sassy little one. <laughs> I am about to read the second part which is the unsentimental farmer so we'll see uh, I really like these little pictures they have there's one here actually let me show you the one for the prologue uh, it's the cat headbutting a car tire so cute and then the other one was a for the husband without a wife it's the cat and the carrier I feel like a grade school teacher telling the class a story and um, my class is Wilfred. Wilfred, look at this! <laughs> this is the third, no, second story, The Unsentimental Farmer. It looks like there's two cats. I hope you guys aren't thinking these are spoilers, I don't know. The third one is a cat on a TV. I like to tab my chapters for some reason. I don't like to tab chapters, actually. I like to tab when 
there are main parts in a book uh, just so I can kind of gauge where I am and I also like to refer back to previous stories or chapters I want to just uh, recall some of the information so that's why I tab it I also tap other things too like I'll tap important parts or important information about the main character etc etc yeah so here's the fourth one <laughs> we just put his head in, in my hand <laughs> Oh my goodness, this one is the cat sleeping on a bed. And then for the epilogue, two cats playing together. I'm sorry if that was a spoiler, but hopefully I'll put warnings in the beginning. Okay, Wilfred's been napping this whole time. Oh yeah, he wants chin rubs. <laughs> he loves it. I'm gonna take a little break and have some more food and then I'm gonna continue on and finish the next story This cat is such a lucky cat He's purring <laughs> He loves when I massage his ears Bye Wilfred, catch you later What are you doing? Mm, you like hiding under the money tree? How are you doing today? Oh, he's so beautiful. Good morning! Today is day two of uh, me reading this book. I didn't actually get much done yesterday because I ended up going out and running errands and doing stuff. So today I will continue with this book. I'm about 25% through. I made myself some food. Look at this. Delicious granola. I know this is what you guys are all waiting for. I don't know what he's doing. He's just sitting there looking at me <laughs> So I'm gonna read this and then I'll give you guys an update once I'm done. I don't know what he's doing <laughs> I just finished the second story in the book. I like how we're kind of following Sotaru's past We're basically beating each of his friends in different parts of his life and we're learning more and more about not only his friends but also Sotaru and his life and what happened although the cat is being really sassy and saying that he doesn't really care if he stays with Sotaru or not you can tell that he actually really wants to be with him so the next story is about Sugi and Chikako's hotel for pets excited to read this but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break I'm gonna go head out for a little bit Wilfred's staying right beside me while I read <laughs> he makes funniest noises yeah so I'll catch you guys in a bit Wood's chin rubs he's still making noises All right, I'm finally ready to talk about this book. And of course, we have Wilfred here with us. Let's see if he'll stay. Maybe he can just stay like this. <laughs> okay, never mind. He does not want to stay. So, I wanted to talk about this book. I read it last night. I finished it last night. And I'm going to be honest, the beginning was very slow. I just didn't understand why people were saying that this is a complete tearjerker and it'll make you sob because I did not, I was not sad. I knew exactly what was coming and usually that would kind of spoil the reaction for me. But this book, 
Oh my god, in the like last 25%, I was just like bawling my eyes out. I don't know, maybe some writing, the writing's just so touching. It made me so, so moved and I was just like reading it, I was literally like <laughs> all night. We have Wolfrey now. Another thing is this book will make you want to hug your cat every time you read it, especially in the last 25% of the book. I would say the last 25% is really what what does it for you. I'm definitely giving this a 4.5 out of 5. I'm not giving it a 5 out of 5 because it was a little slow for me in the beginning. You really have to invest your time to this and you reap all the rewards at the end. I would highly recommend you read this book, especially if you have a cat. Even if you have a dog, it doesn't matter. Like, if you have a, a pet, like, I would highly suggest you to read this. Thank you for watching, you guys, and this is the first time I've ever reviewed a book. I hope I did an okay job. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I'll be reading more translated Japanese literature because I really like the way they write. The other one I read recently is called No Longer Human, which I knew because I was watching Bungo Stray Dogs and I wanted to read that one. Another book I'm about to read is Kokoro by Nasume Soseki. But I don't think I'll, I'll vlog it. I only vlogged this one because it's about a cat and I thought it was very fitting for my channel. There's other cat books that I want to read as well, which people have rated pretty highly. So I might give those a try, but this first book, man, this was a really great start to this whole cat literature journey. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys like this video, which is a little bit different from my usual videos. Thank you so much for watching to the end and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.